are we rolling? Oh, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, my name is Larry, I'm a photographer, and today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the lenses I use and have used for wildlife photography. So if that's a topic that interests you, let's get into it. Well, the first thing I wanna tell you guys is this isn't a review or anything like that, nothing technical. Um, this is just kind of my story or evolution of the lenses that I started with and the lenses that I've kind of added to my collection and that I've moved along to as I progress as a wildlife photographer. The first lens I wanna to talk to you guys about is this lens right here. This is the Canon EFS 55 to 250 lens. This is a great little lens for Canon users. It's a perfect starter lens for wildlife photography. It has a 250 millimeter focal, max focal length, which is a 400 millimeter equivalent on a full frame camera. I shoot on an APS-C sensor camera, which means that there's a crop factor of 1.6. So you multiply the focal length of the lens by 1.6 to get the actual length that you're gonna be basically representing on this size sensor. It has an f-stop ranging from 4.5 to 5.6. So when you're zoomed out at 55 millimeters, you have an f-stop of 4.5. And when you're zoomed all the way in at 250 millimeters, uh, you actually have an f-stop of 5.6. What this means is that this light isn't fantastic for low light, but you can actually get some pretty good results with it. Um, this is the lens that I use to teach myself all of the basics of wildlife photography. From tracking a bird in flight to finding a small subject in the frame, there's a lot of skills you basically need to master before worrying about buying a lens like that one over there. If you guys are interested and you shoot on Canon specifically, this is an amazing lens to get you started in wildlife photography. Now, once I had had this lens for a while and kind of, I'm not gonna say mastered the basics, but I learned the basics and I found myself wanting two more things out of this lens. There's two things basically every wildlife photographer wants out of their lens. The first is more reach. That is the number one thing every wildlife photographer wants. A longer lens means you get closer to the animals without physically needing to get closer to the animals. That just makes wildlife photography easier. The other thing I was looking for was image quality. The problem with this lens, while it's great range on a crop sensor camera, um, it just, it doesn't pack the punch that higher quality glass does. So I decided to opt for a higher quality lens rather than a longer lens. I decided to upgrade to the Canon 70-200 f4 image stabilized lens. Uh, what I did with this lens actually, so this is or was my lens, uh, but this lens now belongs to my sister. I gifted it to her because she's a photographer as well. So now I don't own this lens, but she was kind enough to give it back to me just for the purpose of this video. This is the Canon 70-200 F4 IS. This lens is magic. I got this lens used and at a pretty heavy discount. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for it, but I will tell you I knew it's worth about $1,200 Canadian. This lens, lived on my camera for over a year. It was basically the only lens I used. I've used it for pets, I've used it for portraits, I've used it for wildlife, I've used it for products, I've used it for everything. This lens is perfect. But it doesn't have enough reach. I said it before, wildlife photographers, all they want is more reach and Unfortunately, while I absolutely love this lens, it just wasn't cutting it for me. So recently I decided I was going to make a pretty big purchase for myself and invest in something because I've decided that wildlife photography truly is where my heart lies. So I want to introduce to you guys the beast sitting back there. Let me go get it for you. This is the Canon 100 to 400 version two. This is an F4 to 5.6 lens, just like the 55 to 250. But let me tell you, it is a world of difference. This is an EF mount lens, just like the 7200, which I forgot to mention. Uh, but that means these are meant for full frame cameras, but they still work on crop sensor cameras. However, because I have a crop sensor, this 400 millimeter lens 
is actually a 640 millimeter equivalent. So this has got some reach. It doesn't have the same reach as like say a 600 millimeter, 500 millimeter prime. And I also considered the 150 to 600 millimeter zooms from Tamron and Sigma, but I just, with my experience with Canon glass, you can't beat it. And the 100 to 400 is just magic. It has allowed me to capture some amazing photos like these. And it's light enough that I can handhold it basically all day and I don't really get tired. I sometimes use it on a gimbal head just because I get lazy and I don't want to carry it around all day. But oh, this lens is just, it's, it's literally money. So yes, I did buy this lens new. I got it on sale, but it's just amazing. Uh, right now I've got it on my old camera body. That's my Canon T6i. Uh, currently I'm filming on my Canon 90D, which is my current setup. This lens is considerably cheaper than the bigger primes, but provides amazing quality. And with the 32 megapixel sensor on my Canon 90D, I can crop and get even more range out of it. So it's really no issue. This lens is absolutely tack sharp when you get your focus right. And it just produces stunning results. Now there's one more lens I wanna to talk to you guys about. And it's kind of a bonus. It's not really a wildlife photography lens per se, but I'm gonna throw it in for good measure because I technically have used it for wildlife photography. So just give me a second and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And the bonus lens is the Canon 100mm macro L version. F2.8, image stabilized. This lens, if you wanna photograph insects, if you wanna photograph water droplets, if you wanna photograph products, this lens is worth every penny. Again, got this lens used. I'm a big fan of used lenses and this lens is so versatile. I mean, it's a macro lens, which means you can get super close up, but you can use it as a portrait lens. It's a 2.8, lets in lots of light, get a nice shallow depth of field, and I absolutely adore it. This actually was the first L-series lens I ever bought, and is the reason that I've stuck with Canon glass since then, and I haven't even considered looking at anything else as far as my wildlife photography lenses. So that's it for me today, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, maybe hit that like button, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that'd be cool. And uh, leave a comment down below if you got any questions, got any comments. I'd love to hear what you guys uh, use for your wildlife photography. And I hope this helped you out. Have a good day, everybody. Stay safe.